Hello, I'm going to attempt to make a video here. There's not many videos on YouTube of these Hewlett Packard 4332A LCR meters, so I thought I would make one. I'll show you uh, both, uh, all three, the resistance, the capacitance, and inductance measurement. Um, I received this one. This is kind of a special one. Uh, this one was donated. Let me move this up so you can see this by Hewlett Packard to, I believe it was uh, a college in Washington, and uh, Washington State University. And it somehow ended up its way over towards uh, New Mexico, where somebody over at uh, Los Alamos National Laboratories had it. And uh, I was friends with, uh, with them, and they offered it to me, and I picked it up. It's nearly uh, in mint condition. It needed some calibration, uh, but, uh, went through it and uh, uh, had one or two minor little repairs to do and uh, fixed it up and it's an amazing little instrument. It's super sensitive and um, I think it's going to be a great addition to my little lab here. And So I'm just going to show you a couple things that I get going on here. First thing I'm going to do, raise this up here. So I have a Vachet Precision 10K resistor. It's doing a 2 ohm measurement on a Keysight 34465A. And it's reading, uh, what, 0 .1, 0 0.14 ohms low of 10, of 10 um, uh, kilo ohm. So uh, 9999.86, so that's pretty close. So we know this resistor here is pretty much exactly 10 kilo ohms better be. It's a Vache uh, BRF 0.05% uh, resistor. So let's, um, let me lower this back down. And what I have here, I have this Unity uh, LCR, digital LCR meter, Fluke uh, 189. It's measuring, or it's reading the uh, analog output uh, of the 4332 where scale in millivolts, one volt full scale, or 300 millivolts full scale. It's either one volt or 300 millivolts, depending on which scale we're on. Currently we're on the uh, 300, this is capacitance, so 300 nanofarad scale. So let's move this over to the resistance. Let's change this out for the resistor. Let's put that in here like so. Connect this up here like so. Let's go down to 10K. Well, this is on the through 30k on the 30k range it's reading uh 10.1 so what uh 10 ohms basically uh about 10 ohms high for an analog meter let's go down here to the 10k range 999.7 so pretty much exactly 10k 10k range um in this case one volt would read 10k. This is reading 999 point decimal 0.8.9 millivolts. So pretty much exactly 10k. Not bad. Okay. So there's resistance function. And just for the heck of it, I have this uh, precision. This is one of their voltage divider. One of uh, Vachet's voltage dividers. Uh, it's a 1K between these two leads and 13K between these two leads. So let's measure the 1K side just to give you a, another. There's the 1K side. So pretty much 1K. And here's the 1K side. So a full scale 1000 ohms, pretty much exactly on one. And in this case, one volt or a thousand millivolts, 0 0.0. It doesn't get much closer than that, so you can see it tracks pretty well. So now let's do um, some capacitance uh, checks. So right here, I have this little ceramic. It's not the best capacitor world. You'd really ideally like to have some, uh, at least some uh, micas or something like that, but unfortunately I don't have any uh, laying around here for this value um, that I can play with. But you know, here we go. We got my little Unity LCR meter. I did a calibration on it earlier with the, the the short and the open, and, and did a little self cal on it. And it's reading 
100.3 picofarad on this guy. So let's move this over to capacitance. Let's connect this guy up here. Actually, let's let's do something real quick. Let me plug this in. On picofarad, this meter reads in a 100, 100k uh, sine wave. So let's, let's go frequency, 10k, 100k. So with 100k frequency, it's measuring 100.28 picofarad. So let's put this little capacitor in here, connect this up. We're on C. So that's on the 300 picofarad range, reading pretty much one, one zero zero. So it's reading 100.8. This was what, 100.2, 100.3? So what about 0 .4, 0 0.5 picofarad difference? Uh, not too bad. Now, just to give you a quick, uh, just to show you real quick what I'm, what I got set up here. So we have the guard output, which is tied to the shield, then the unknown, which is the center conductor, and then low, which is just this outside lead here. So this is the unknown. This is uh, the guard, which doesn't connect to anything except it creates the guard uh, protection around the unknown uh, signal, which then here's the low back to the meter. And if you don't have that guard hooked up like this, uh, you will have lots of problems with erroneous readings and, and a lot of uh, interference just moving around it, especially measuring down this low into the into the picofarads or, or if you're measuring uh, low inductance values. So it's, it's really nice to have the guard fully connected um, like this. And I just use some um, some adapters and some, some um, VNC jumper cable, you know, and made my own. I uh, don't have the, uh, the Hewlett Packard uh, uh, specific cable, which you can't find anymore. So now let's go up to a little higher value capacitor. Here's one. This is 104. So that's going to be 100 nanofarads, or it's reading here. That's at 10k. Now, this meter measures once you get above the thousand picofarad, once you get up into the nanofarad range, it measures at a one kilohertz signal. So let's, let's change this to, whoops, one kilohertz past it. One kilohertz. So at one kilohertz, this meter is measuring, you know, 99.5, pretty damn close to, there's a, there we go, I just receded it, 100, 101.3, 101.8, somewhere there, 101, 101.5 we'll call it. I'll put this here in my little test jig, connect this up. So it's reading 104, 104, let's go down to the next scale. It's reading 102. There's 101.7, 101.6. So it's just above the top of the scale there. 101.2. Uh, so pretty much exactly what this guy reads, which was the only standard I got to go with to calibrate this, presuming this guy is fairly accurate, which those new digital um, meters are fairly accurate. So that was what I used to uh, calibrate this guy with. So there's a... Uh, we can show you how it works in both resistance and, and capacitance. And I do have one inductor laying around here. So I got this little guy. I wound this just to test this meter. So let's see what this comes out to. Let's plug this in here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to auto, 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 auto. Cal mode, function, resistance. Here we go. Inductance. 70, so that's at one kilohertz. This is gonna measure, this is down 77 microhenry, so this is gonna measure at one kilohertz. So let's make this match. See here, frequency, 10 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz. I think it was actually, no, 10, 100 kilohertz is what I want, 100 kilohertz. This is measuring 76.15 microhenry. Try again. 
in, get this in here. Oh, that's interesting. I flipped around, measures 80. Let's try it again. Flipped around 82, hmm. Eighty-three. Wonder if the cleaning the connect, cleaning the uh, the copper on here every time I plug it in, maybe. Try one more time. Eighty-four. Huh, that's very peculiar. Every time I put it in there, it measures measures a little higher. So, eighty. Let's say eighty-four, eighty-five. Okay. So let's put this over here. Put this on L. Go down here to 1000, just to start with. Connect that up. Measuring 81 and a half. 82, 81 and a half, 82. So pretty darn close. Anyways. It's just a neat meter. It's it's anybody can buy these for hundred bucks. But this is special. That was built uh, by Yanagawa or designed by Yanagawa Hewlett Packard in in the late '60s, early '70s, and built in the in the '70s, '80s, and and I'm not sure if they still made them in the '90s or not, but definitely in the '80s. And it's a it's a beautiful, well built meter and just a, just a nice piece to have on the shelf amongst all my other HP meter to instruments the same vintage. Anyways, just thought I'd put a little video on there showing showing this guy work. Is uh, I don't think there is anyone. This will be right the first one. There you go. Catch you later.